All right, so welcome to part three of our Bootstrap SaaS template. Uh, this is what we have so far. It looks absolutely horrendous, uh, but don't worry about that. We're gonna fix it. Um, basically, right now, we, we want to create these four boxes here. All right, so these will be blocks, and they'll have a class of block light, because they have the, the grayish background. Okay, so, Actually, I don't think I included this in the last video. You just want to open up a new set of section tags. All right, and then in here, we want a container. And we want a row. and then some columns. Call MD3, we're gonna want four of these. I'd suggest taking this block right here and creating a snippet because we're gonna be using it a lot, but I'm just gonna for now just paste it in another file all right, so we want three of the, um, four of these columns. And then inside here, we're just going to want to do our blocks. So div class equals block. And um, we're going to create a class called, actually, this will be block light. But I also want them aligned in the center. So we're going to create a, a class called block center. All right, and then we want our icon, so I class, okay, font awesome. Uh, and what I want here is the HTML5 uh, icon, which is FA-HTML5. And I want the icon to be colored blue. You can see how it has a blue color. So we're gonna be creating a class to do that, which will be called FA primary. And then for the size, I want it to be bigger, so it's going to be FA-4. Alright, and then we're going to want an H3. Just put some filler text. And then a paragraph. I'm going to grab some text. <coughs> All right, and then we want, actually that's it. So let's copy this block. Okay, so all I'm gonna change really is the icon. So we have the HTML5 here. This one is gonna be FA pie chart. This one is gonna be FA unlock what is it unlock alt and then this one is going to be question circle again you can go to the font awesome website and browse um, all the icons okay so I'll save that Let's see what it looks like all right you can see that the size they're very small um, we're going to be creating a class which is the FA-4 uh, class and it'll make them bigger. So don't worry about it for now. All right. So next we have, what do we have next? This area here, which is going to have a section of, uh, I mean a class of section light because it has the light background. It'll have two columns, two six div, um, six column divs. So we want to create a new section. Section light. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, and actually let me just grab this here. All 
All right, so we want a six column and another six column. Okay, the first one will have our copy. Basically, it'll have a heading and a list and a button. The, the uh, list items will have a background image of a check. This is actually an image. It's not a. It's not an icon. So we want our H2, and this H2 is going to have a class of page header, and that that's a Bootstrap core class. And we'll say use Sky App on all devices. H2, and I want the Sky App text to be. Um, to be bold and uh, have the color of primary. So uh, we're going to wrap it in a span with the class of EM primary. Okay, so under the header, we're going to have a list. So UL, and it's going to have a class of list and a class of list feature oh. all right and then in here we need our list items um, let's see list item and then we're gonna have actually you know what I thought that that those checks were images but they are icons I don't know why I thought they were images <coughs> so we want I class um, FA and FA dash check. <clears throat> and then I'm going to have a span and then just some dummy text. All right, now I'm going to copy this. Okay, and then under under the UL, we're going to have an A, and this is going to be a button. So class is going to be button BTN dash primary, and I want this button to be bigger, so I'm going to use BTM dash LG, which is a Bootstrap class to make it bigger, larger. All right. So that's it for that side. And then this one, we just want the image of the Mac. Um, what am I doing? I want image, and I'm going to give this image a cl uh, class of device. And what is it called? Device iMac dot uh, PNG. Okay, save that. Take a look. Okay, you can see that the the image is huge. We're gonna end up uh, making that smaller, obviously. All right. So next we have this section, which is gonna be very similar. So what I'm gonna do is actually just copy this, and this will be a section primary. <coughs> and let's see <coughs> we're going to have the image in this column and this is going to be called device iPhone and then in this column We'll have a, uh, another page header. Page header. We'll say try Sky App for 30 days free. And then we want a paragraph, paragraph with a class 
of lead. Yeah, I'm just going to grab some text. And then a button or a link. Class button. I want it to be big, so button large. And we're going to have a class called button. Actually, it'll be default. Button default. And I want it to be rounded, so button rounded will create that class. All right. So that's that section. The last thing we have here on this page is the footer. So we're going to use footer and give it a class. Give it a class of footer main. Which reminds me, uh, I don't think we have a header class. I'm sorry, a header element. No. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to wrap the navigation area into a header with the class of header main. Whoops, not div. Okay. So back to the footer. Okay, so we're going to have a container and a row. Let me just copy this here. And we're going to have three four column rows. So I want to change that to a four. Okay, so H4. Okay, now we're going to have an unordered list. And I'm just going to grab the, the text instead of typing it in just to move things along. Okay, so I'll just. Actually, I'm just going to copy this. Okay, and then one more. All right. So footer has uh, three four column divs, which have a heading and an unordered list. All right, so that looks good. Save it. All right, so that's just the HTML. We have no CSS whatsoever, except the default nav bar. So what I want to do now is create the, the inner pages. All right, we can use this as a, as a um, a starting point for those pages. So I'm going to go to the root directory of my project and create a few files. We'll create about.html services contact and blog. All right, so basically in this video, I'm going to create just a shell uh, for these pages. And then in the next one, we'll do the inner styling. Uh, not the inner styling, the inner HTML. All right, so for index, I'm going to grab everything, copy it, paste in about. I'm just going to change the title. Okay, we want the navigation the same. We don't want the showcase at all. And this section here is going to be, if we look at the final result, um, this here. Okay, so um, what I want to do is give it uh, another class of top inner. Okay, and that, that looks good. Everything else can stay. All right, that's good. Next, uh, we're going to have this area here. Okay, so it could be a slogan or a title or whatever. 
and it has a section. We're going to give it the section of primary, but I want, actually, I want to add another section called section primary A, which will be this with this green border. All right, so we can use that. We can reuse that where we want. All right, so um, I guess I'm just going to create a new section. So this section will have a class of section primary A. And you could go as far as you want. We can do B, C, D, and just have different, uh, just, just you know, minor differences. Um, let's see, what else do we want to do here? That's actually fine. Uh, and then our row is only going to have one column, which will be, I'm sorry, one div, which will be 12 columns. And that's going to be an H2. All right. So that's that. Next is going to be the main page layout. So it'll basically be a main column and then a sidebar. All right, so let's see. Let me get rid of this section. And if we look at the about page, we'll have um, the main area and then a sidebar. And I want to keep. We'll have a, a meet our team area, a testimonial, and we're going to keep the the four boxes here as well which is this here. So let's create the main section. All right, so this let's say section main. It would help if I add class. All right, and we'll have an eight column and then a four column for the sidebar. Okay. And I think that's where I'm going to leave the about page for now. Okay, so if we go to about. Actually, we don't want this or this. Okay, so we'll get rid of both of these sections. All right, good for now. So let's go to the services. What I'm going to do is copy the about page. And I'm just going to keep the same the same content for now. Same thing with contact and blog. And we might as well just change the titles. We just don't want this video to get too long. All right, so we have all our pages. In the next video, we'll do those inner HTML elements. And then finally, we'll move on to the CSS.